Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Elizabeth Polk and welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be so exciting as you guys can tell by the title. I got a brand new car. Yes, your girl got a brand new car. All praises and glory and honor goes to the man above who is God. Like, I just cannot thank him enough for this blessing. Oh, and by the way, if you guys hear some noise, that is my neighbor. I've mentioned that to you before in my last video. But back on to the car. So I'm so thankful that I got this car again. All praises and glory be to God. I've had the car now. The day that I'm recording this video is February the 4th. I got the car on January 23rd. So I've had it now going on two weeks. I'm sorry that I'm just now recording this video for you guys, but where I live at in Louisiana, the weather has been just so unpredictable. It has been rainy and cloudy and dreary pretty much every day for the past week. And so now for the past couple of days, it has been getting warmer and sunny. So I thought then that was the perfect time for me to record my video. So before I get into the vlog, I just want to say, talk about why I got the car in the first place. Now, I've been seeing a lot of people been getting, you know, their brand new cars and congratulations to them. But their reason of getting their new car is probably different than mine. So I got my new car not because I wanted to, but because I was kind of forced to. So let me just briefly explain. So I've never had my very own car before. The cars that I've always had and that I've driven were given to me or they were cars of my mother that you know she would just let me drive so that way I could have transportation. Well, my mom unfortunately passed in July of last year, therefore leaving me the car that I had before, the car I, I have now. So the car that she left me was a 2013 Ford Focus. And the car was paid for, so all I had to do every month was just um, just pay the car insurance. And my intention was to keep the car for as long as possible because even though the car was 10 years old, it was still running pretty well, was still in good condition, still looked very well. So I was going to keep it as long as possible. I mean, I just started a new job now about six months ago, so I'm thankful that I am making more money, but Let's just be honest, I really didn't intend on buying a new car now because I was doing everything in my willpower to keep from paying a car note. But of course, life happens. So, boom. In October of last year, the car started having problems with when I was driving it, um, with accelerating and everything. But it really started to get bad in November. So I had took it to a few different places um, to get a diagnosis just to see what was going on. Um, two of the people said that it was the uh, the brake clutches. One person said that it was the transmission and that it was going to cost me nine thousand dollars. I'm like the car itself didn't even cost half of that. So why would I pay nine thousand dollars? for a transmission, I can literally go and buy me a brand new car, like get real. So it came out to be, it was something to deal with the clutches. And actually I didn't know, but when my mom first got the car and she had to get it fixed, that was the same issue that she had to get fixed before. Now that car, and if you're watching this, if you have a 20, I think it's like 2013 and 2013 Ford Focuses, apparently there's some sort of like recall that was on them that i didn't know about dealing with the brake clutches and everything so if you have i happen to have one of those cars or know somebody um and they start having like trouble with one of their cars that trouble with their car that might be the issue so that was the problem now i took it to uh out of the two places well two out of three places i took to get you know a diagnosed for one of them was an actual Ford dealership, and they were going to charge me thirty five about thirty five hundred dollars to um, to cover the cost of the expenses to repair it. And I took it to a and the transmission one of the transmission places that I also took to get a diagnosis. They were going to only charge me like a little over twenty seven hundred dollars. So twenty seven hundred dollars. $3,500 almost. I was saving I was saving anywhere between seven to 
So, and of course, who want, want to save almost a thousand dollars, especially in these in these times with how the economy is, you know, every dollar, every cent matters. So again, just make a long story short, I took it to the transmission place because they said they could do it. They said they worked on the cars, um, 14, 20, 13, four focuses with that exact same problem. They knew what it was. They knew that they could fix it and everything. So I gave them my car to fix. I was in a rental for almost about two weeks while my car was in the shop. And the day before I was called to pick it, pick it up, and they told me that I could come and pick it up the next day. They said the car was driving better. So when I was talking to my aunt about this, she told me that I needed to drive the car just to see how it was because you're not paying for better. You're paying for to get it fixed. So when I went to pick up my car the next day, I test drove it, my cousin and I and y'all. It was driving pretty much the exact same. Like, it wasn't driving as bad, but it was still pretty much driving the same. When he said better, it was just driving just a little bit better. But that's the thing. I'm not paying you almost $3,000 just for my car to be better. I need it to be fixed. And he was giving me all types of, you know, stuff talking about that I would need to drive it for about 500 miles, maybe more for um, my computer system or something in my car to recognize it and then I'll start driving better. And then once I did test drive it, come to find out that it was now something wrong with the accelerating, acceleration or something um like that and that wasn't one of the things that was wrong with it when i brought it in and so that happened while it was in their possession well they said that that was more motor they only do transmission so i would have to take my car to a whole other person get it diagnosed and fixed from someone else that was going to cost additional money i told him i was like look I brought my car to you guys to fix. It is not fixed to my liking, and I want you guys to fix it. And they told me, well, we think we should be compensated for the work that we did. And I was like, well, I'm not satisfied with the car, so what are we going to do? Because I'm not going to pay you guys for a, for a car that, well, for a car that's not fixed. You're saying I'm going to have to drive it 500 plus more miles to see just how it's going to work. And I guess if it is going to be fixed and everything, and who knows if it is fixed, like I was only getting the car fixed to probably last me at least like a year or longer, but who knows if it would have lasted me a year or even six months. So they told me, it was like, well, you don't pay us, we keep the car. And I told them that I wasn't going to pay them because I didn't feel right that I should. And so they kept the car. So I was without a car for almost two weeks. And y'all, when I tell you, it was like the longest two weeks of my entire life. Thankfully, my cousin was able to take me back and forth to work every day. And you know, if I need like to go to the store to run errands or something like that. But just the whole process of literally every single day for pretty much morning to night, even while I was at work, I was online, I was looking at cars, I was on the phone, calling different people. I went to a couple dealerships to look at a few different cars. And it was just it was just a very long, tiresome, tedious process. And I knew I had to get me a car in a short period of time. Well, I was trying to get me a car within two weeks because I was like, I can't go a month or more without a car. And then too, my cousin just started a new job. I didn't want to be without a car and you know, uh, it would interfere with his work schedule on his new job. I did take Lyft a couple times, but you guys know, I mean, thank, thank God for Lyft, but you just have to be careful with that because it can be dangerous. So I was like, I need to get me a car. And I'm just so thankful. I'm so thankful. Again, all praises be to God because the day that I let them keep the car, y'all, I came back home and I cried. And I was like, God, I don't know how I'm going to get a car, when I'm going to get a car, how you're going to do it, when you're going to do it. But I know, trust, and believe that you are going to do it. 
and he did and like god always does he shows up and shows out and i am so thankful for the car that i have now i'm thankful that i didn't settle when i wanted to when i wanted yeah when I, on cars that i thought that i wanted this car i absolutely love i'm so thankful for i'm about to show it to you guys but it is a 2023 um, Kia Forte GT. Y'all, this car is brand spanking new. Like, it was delivered to me. I bought it from a dealership that's two hours away from my from where I live. So, the car started off with, with only nine miles, but when it got to me, it was like 130 or something, because like I said, it was about two hours away. And it is absolutely beautiful. Like, I just, I always said I wanted my own car. I wanted to buy it myself. And I'm just so thankful that God blessed me to be able to use my money to for the down payment on the car. My credit was good enough to get the car. I got it for a monthly note that's, you know, that that doesn't that's not gonna break the bank. It's the note that I want. It's a color that I love, but has all the features that I want. It's just I am just so thankful if you're watching this video aside from probably just wanting to see the car let this be motivation that whatever you're going through in your life right now there's something that you're wanting whether it's a new car a new house a new job or whatever just pray and trust god and believe that he's going to do it don't don't think how don't don't think when just know and trust believe that he's going to do it but just keep the faith and most importantly do not Settle. So I'm so thankful for this blessing and big shout out to Miss April Clark of Walker Kia in Alexandria, Louisiana. Thank you so much. She was my salesperson. If you happen to come across this video, I just want to say thank you so much. You were just so sweet, so kind, so patient with me. You know, this is, I'm a first time car buyer, so I didn't know anything about this process, but you made it so worthwhile, so easy, and you just helped me along the way. Compared to other people that I was talking to about cars, you guys, she never pressured me to buy the car. And like I said, she was just, she was just so informative, so helpful, so loving. Like she was literally God sent and I am so thankful for her. And it's crazy because I don't know what she looks like. I've never met her or anything. It's just all the communication that we had was either over the phone or through email. But I told her that whenever I'm in that area, I'm going to come by and see her, just uh, bring her a little gift for just being such a blessing to me and helping me through this process and giving me a car that I love. So if you guys, I'm sorry, uh, <laughs> um, there's some sirens outside, but if you guys happen to be in the Alexandria area, or you don't have to be in the Alexandria area, I mean, now people are buying cars from online all over, but I would definitely recommend if you want a great salesperson and you're just interested in a Kia, definitely check out Miss April Clark again at Walker Kia in Alexandria, Louisiana. Tell her that Elizabeth Pope sent you. Y'all, she. I'm so sorry about that but yes tell her that elizabeth pope has sent you and she will help you and she she's just literally an angel i i love her okay so i've already taken now 13 minutes of this video talking about why i had to get the car and everything so now it's time for the big car vlog car reveal and i'm so excited to show you guys so let's so yeah let's come along and just check out my new car Okay, you guys, so here is my baby. Check out the color. I absolutely love the red detailing. Let me get closer so you guys can see. This is just beautiful. And you can see the GT logo right here. This is beautiful. Like, I absolutely love the color. Oh, and check out the rims. Her 
Her name is Toot after my mom. My mom's name is, well, her, her nickname was Toot, see? And so I named her Toot. Here's the back of the car. The detailing on this. I love how the detailing gives it like a sporty look. And sorry about the bird poop. I actually haven't washed it yet. So I have to wash it today. But yes, she is gorgeous. So, oh, since we're outside, let me show you guys the trunk. You have lock, unlock, hold for the trunk. And this is for the horn. Okay. And I saw on TikTok somewhere, I haven't got it. I, I don't know how to use it yet, but it says like if you, I guess like hold it or something up to here, it's supposed to open it. I don't know. Maybe I'm not pushing a certain button or something. I don't know. Okay. So let's just open the trunk. Here is the trunk. It is so, you guys can tell. I know the sunlight is not, it's kind of blocking, but this trunk is super, super spacious. Okay. Check out the leather seats like get into it the red outlining on this just is everything this is actually one of the reasons why i got this specific car because of the leather seats and the red outlining on it so these are leather so comfy and it has the gt logo here how it looks in the back. Here's your cup holder right here. And you have a vent in the back. You have this. I forgot what this is called. I guess like if you need to put like some stuff in there or something. And then you also have a USB port. And here are, oh, this is, um, I washed a lot of them yesterday. <laughs> the mats for the four. Okay. And let me see, I may have to, okay, I think I may have to have the car with that. Okay, let's go back to the front. Okay. All right, you guys. So let me turn it on. Oh, now I need to push my seat back up. She's pushed to start. Here's the radio system, I guess is what you call it. You got your maps here. I'm still learning this. Um, radio, media. Well, here is your lock, and no, this is unlock and lock. This controls your windows. Okay. And oh yeah, I think this controls. Um, Something about your window or something. I don't know. And this, what is this? Oh, right here controls your mirrors. I think you guys can see it's moving. Oh, and let me show you. Right here, you guys can see 
this is kind of like your um your signal i guess like if a car if you're on the highway and a car is getting too close and you're wanting to pass like this is going to light up to let you know that you can't get over so that's cool is one of the safety features um on the sides with the seating you have this button that allows you to go forward and go backwards uh, this causes your seat pushes your seat forward and this causes your seat to go backwards and this button like it does something into your seat where it kind of like makes the seat on your back part like goes in and out okay. and you have um for your gas your hood you have your brake wait a minute yeah brake and gas um on your steering wheel this controls your music if you want to turn the volume up or turn the volume or turn the volume down so this go up to turn the volume up down to turn the volume down and if you want to press to um to press pause or play on your radio then you just press this button in and then out but i'm not going to do it because i'm recording on my phone and if i press play then it's going to like stop the video uh, so I'm going to have to hurry because I don't have much storage, but this controls um, your turn signal. These control your um, windshield, windshield wipes. I'm actually still learning how to use this system use this system but this is a very nice size inch screen i think it's like about 10 inches or so and you have your um thermostat here let's see uh turn it on so this has you to turn it up turn it down uh And this also, and this syncs it. Is this on? Oh, yeah. This syncs it so I guess like your passengers on this side can also feel as well, or they can adjust it to their liking. And one of the coolest things about this car that I love is this right here is a phone charger. I wish I can show you guys how it works, but again, like I said, I record on my phone, but this charges your phone so all you have to do is just put your phone right here of course a touch screen phone and once this lights up orange you're going to see that your phone is charging it's so cool you have your usb ports right here okay and this is an automatic over here this is to warm your seat and it also has it for the driver's side, I mean, the passenger side as well. And I haven't used this feature, but I'm guessing since this warms your seat, this cools it as well. And okay, now I don't really know much about this feature. I think it says drive mode, so. Oh yeah, okay, I, I heard about this. I saw this on TikTok. So drive mode, you can either do normal, sport, or smart. So I guess mine is currently in smart mode. I don't know. And you press this button right here and you're gonna see, all right. So when I press the button, it shows you the back camera, how cool. And let's go to these features up here. So this is where you can put your sunglasses. That is so cool. I'm not really sure what this is like i said there are still so many features that i'm learning about this car if you happen to have this car and you know more about it than i do please feel free to just comment let me know hey elizabeth this is how this works that's work because like i said i've only had this car now almost two weeks so i'm still learning about it and we have our mirrors Sorry. and right here is a little light how cool all right watch this how cool is this? This is so cute. 
and okay oh i remember this light uh such a vibe such a vibe and now my favorite part the sunroof and this is how you operate the sunroof so it's right here okay love it love 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 it and oh these just work just work these lights so yes that's pretty much the car you guys oh and this um this controls your lights well both blinkers at the same time i love how this is like right here in the silk event and yeah that's that's pretty much the car like i am absolutely in love with it i mean it's it's beautiful it's comfortable it's sporty it's great on gas i mean the monthly notes are good i'm just absolutely in love with this car like i am so thankful to speed this up really quickly because my phone keeps cutting off because i don't have a lot of storage but again thank you so much for watching this video if you've been interested in purchasing this car again this is a 2023 kia forte gt definitely look into it definitely purchase it i absolutely love this car but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this car vlog if you did do not forget to like comment subscribe and share this video and thank you so much again for watching make sure you guys are following me on all my social media accounts to keep it with my life off camera and make sure that you guys hit that notification bell so you will be notified whenever i post a new video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see y'all my next video bye